made it same again, and I've made another upgrade to my cave. I've made an ultimate crate made from a few of the ideas that I've got off of some of you kayakers and YouTubers out there. I've made a small compartment here on top. This is really just to keep from scratching your arms, plus a flotation device. I don't think it's going to float all this though. Little compartment on top, then a smaller compartment, a little bit bigger compartment below that. And then the full crate below it, below that. I made these two latches right here from one inch PVC pipe. And they're just zip tied, zip tied in. I dribbled them out at an angle and then made it where my cord would go right inside the groove there. And then and on another video I've made, seen this part on one and I decided to put it into this one too so I could load my lunch box in there and hold it nice and firm and everything's pretty tight, holds down. Still using the same things that came with the kayak to hold it down. I use these carabiners here. Using the same cord that come in with the kayak to strap it down and it's on there pretty firm. So now I'm going to show you how I make it. So as you've seen on other YouTube videos or Maybe this might be your last, I mean your first one, I'm sorry. Uh, I have went and cut four different milk crates up. This is going to be my top. All I did was cut across the top, just, I mean, across the bottom, just below, just above the solid piece here, making about an inch and a half, two inch compartment. And I took on the second one, I just cut the half top, half of the top off. And then my full milk crate. And then just cut this one down the middle to make my piece to go on the front. And now I'm going to zip tie it all together. side to be out of the way of the bungee ball. Make sure you come at the bottom of it, not at the top. Now 
Now it just has to be tight at the bottom. At the top, it doesn't, doesn't have to be pushed in there. I do it just for the looks. You do want it to angle down. done the length on my bungees I needed. All it is is you pull it out the big hole here and tie another knot in the bungee. Just run it through here and loop the ball back through the loop. Pull it pretty snug. Just tight to it. And bring it down and hook it right in there. And the top one, I go over the top with it. Because if you don't, the bungee is not long enough to reach with it and actually have tension on it. And this cord will be cut, covered up also with the insulation, PVC insulation, that will go over the top here. There we go. As you see, I need to tighten that one up. I'll do that later. But this one here is pretty tight. It's a very nice crate. And that is how I do my crates.